Hello guys. Welcome back. Part two. Part two of the Copacabana Coral Reef Show. Yep. Uh, as we said before, probably in the ending of the part one video, it's too many units for us to film in one video. It's probably going to be 50 minutes, so we're going to split it into two parts, basically. Yeah. And you have a big highlight coming up at the end. Nice room to see. Awesome. you got to watch it, took guys, till the end, seriously, because, yeah, it's a standout. I like it. And the price is actually not that bad either. Price is not that bad compared to the Copa One project. So what are we going to show here in part two? We're going to show... One bedrooms, two bedrooms, two bedrooms. and then the special one. Then Let's call it the special one. The special, <laughs> the special one. Anyway, so Coral Reef. Just here on Second Road. Actually, that part there where it's fenced off, that's where the building's being built as of right now. Yeah. Uh, the parking lot structure is finished already. So they're going to start the main building soon. And that is the original Cobra. Exactly, that's the OG. And obviously the beach is just in front of that. Yeah, so uh, we'll also drive around at the end of the video so you all understand the location. Okay, All right, let's go. Welcome back everyone. Part two of the Copa Coral Reef video. We'll show you the first room here. Uh, as we said previously, we're doing a part one and part two because there's a lot of layouts here. Mm. And you see here, you're on the side of the building. I'd say around here is where Riviera Ocean Drive is, as a reference. Mm -hmm. That's around where the, you're a bit in front of Riviera Ocean Drive, honestly. So you'd have a side view depending on the level? Yeah, you'd actually have a view a little bit of the Riviera Ocean View building, of the Copacabana 1 building, and then you'll have the sea view in the middle. This is a layout also popular by Good Vibes Clients. Good Vibes Clients oh, have yeah. bought this layout, yeah. So they, they seem to really like this layout. You get the nice balcony space again outside, but let's start with the kitchen here. Smaller, mm. compact kitchen. Mm. This room would probably be good for someone who's not in his place the whole time, no. from the outside, you know, yeah. just uses it for sleep, basically. Yeah. They did ditch the base. sofa beds, though. Have you noticed? No more sofa beds. This could be a dining table for four. Yeah, make it for you four people. Yeah. Put a smaller table here, really. Yeah. Smaller layouts still have the single fridge, but the bigger layouts have the double fridge as an upgrade. Reasonable layout. size, sorry, reasonable height ceilings. <laughs> Very nice, right? Actually, you can see the improvements they made from the Copa One to Copa Two. Okay. The people were complaining about the size, so now the starting size went from 29 to 32. Which some people say three meters is not that that much. Mm. But and, I think it does um, make a difference. And the balcony size also. Sorry, what was the right starting price for this? Starting price for this unit is 3.582. So almost 3.6 million baht. Just remember guys. As we said in part one of the Coral Reef video, units that are below the 20th floor are Thai Cobra. Okay. But that doesn't mean you can't buy it as a foreigner. Just that means you have mean to you... put it in your Thai Mrs. name. Put it in or... your Thai Mrs. name or Thai company. Thai company. Yeah. Payment plans are actually a little bit easier when you buy Thai, thai name, Thai company. Okay. But also they have that Another new promotion here at Copa, if you pay off everything within three months, you get 10% discount off the whole unit. That's quite good. Yeah. We've had clients, I think the soonest one of our clients paid here was six months. Okay. Here's your closet. And here's your bathroom. The quality, bathroom. The quality feels up a notch. Yeah, right? Proper germ. And we're not saying that Copa One was bad quality. But we're saying this is just better. This, naturally, that's maybe improved it. Side cabinet here. Mm. Only downside on this unit, I'd say, is uh, the bathroom. Uh, you can't it doesn't have access. access. It. No, it's not a Jack and Jill. You have to access it through the bedroom. Okay. Okay, and then right. we'll see you in showroom number two. This is a 38.6 square meter one bedroom. This will be the second room we look at here at Copacabana Coral Reef. 
These come at a decent price as well. 3.58 million baht is the starting price for this layout. As you can see, you can choose front or back side. So this is completely the front with the direct sea view, mm -hmm. then or the back side with the city view towards Padia Bay view. Right? Mm -hmm. If you're on the higher floors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty nice room. But I think you really see the improvements made. Definitely. More so on part one probably because you showed the bigger layouts, but here also still 38 square meter. I think it's quite okay. It's better than the 29 square meter or 20 square meter studio. Yeah. <laughs> and big balcony as well. All of them have a big balcony. Yeah, huh? I like that. Balconies are so important for me. And for a lot of you, I'm sure. And Copa's listening. Mmm listening to their feedback what are the people saying about their project what can they do better for the next one it's also a good sign from the developer and off plan very nice you can get in with the early prices probably have to wait a few years but you could also actually flip them or resell them you have some clients who bought for that intent all right so they put money down and then even before completion, they resell it yeah. and make a profit. Even in Copa 1, they did it. You know, some people have bought below 4 million are selling now, 4 or 5, so even the smallest layout. We, we actually know about some units that were super cheap at Copa 1 when they bought back in 2019 when it was pre-sale. Apologies, everyone. Well, we got interrupted yeah, by clients again. We got interrupted by people. Um, so I was just talking to Manu offline about what the payment, what do you got to put down as a deposit on something like this? And he, he said 30% of the price. 30% is the contract payment. Yeah. And then you follow it up afterwards with installments. This okay. is where it gets a little bit special because you have four options of how you want to pay the installments or anyway, four different times. If anyone wants to know more about Oop. that, oops, rather than us explaining it all in a video, we'll, um, We'll uh, dig deeper. Dig deeper. Yeah. Or if you're interested, you want to know just about how the me. payment plans are, you can also always send Jason an email. Yeah. And I'll flick you over to Manu. Yeah. And he can go into detail with you. But the payment plan here are actually quite decent compared to the other developers as well. Mm -hmm. You basically pay 70% upfront before they transfer it to your own unit. So you have 30% that you have to pay on transfer. Which is good because the lower that payment is, the more beneficial it's to the developer. So if it's 10%, that's more beneficial to the developer if you have it on transfer. Actually, you have 50% on transfer, which is ideal for you because you only put down half of your money. Okay. Nice showroom, huh? Move on. Let's go. Okay, guys, the 38.6 square meter layout is actually 3.6 million. I think that's good. Foreign. Yeah, foreign quota. Now, we're looking this is at. the second to last layout. We're super close to the finale, Jason. And Jason mm -hmm. already knows what layout we're looking at as the finale. So 64.9 yeah. square meter. Remember in part one, we looked at a two bedroom 67 square mm -hmm. meter, 7.6. And this is just a little bit smaller. Big balcony. Yeah. Can't read that. <laughs> Should say 5.8. 5.8. Okay. Yeah. And living is 59. 59.3. Oh no. Jesus Christ. The white. Is it a five or a three? Well, forget about it. Yeah. Let's look at the rule. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is quite cool too. Yeah. So the big difference you notice is when you come into the room, remember the other one? Mm -hmm. You take a right. It goes all the way straight. Straight. This is on an angle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're on the side of the building here. Uh -huh. The other two bedroom from part one was the front facing. This is yep. the side facing towards Riviera, jo uh, Riviera Ocean Drive and Copa One. But I must say, 
I think I might actually prefer this layout over the bigger one from part one. Mm -hmm. Two bedroom wise. I don't know why, but it seems more spacious. It does when you first come in the door. Yeah. It seems more spacious. Let's start here. We have our guest bedroom. And our guest bathroom. King size bed, plenty of room. No balconies here on the side. If you remember Copa 1, when they had the small two bedroom layout, you actually have a balcony on the small bed too. Ditched it here though, but they also ditched the high prices here. Yeah. Here's okay. your closet, bigger closet, upgraded it. Here's your bathroom, jeez, we opened it up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, have a big shower. Oh, that's wicked. Nice tiles. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Bang. This is stuff. Interesting what you always see in the let's showrooms, let's right? Tie your children to the chair so they, so they eat their dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Jason's parenting style, guys. <laughs> Here's the balcony. Man, they've, they've nailed it with the size of these balconies. Yeah, absolutely nailed it, right? And actually, see that part there where it's blocked off? That's where the parking lot is of the building so that's where the real building is going to be okay that's the metal thing today that i was talking about yeah. it's actually quite hard filming the video a little bit because me and jason have to travel back and forth because oh. four show rooms are in this part where we're in right now and then four are inside the main lobby building yeah so <laughs> me and jason back and forth here the whole back time. and forth and getting confused <laughs> okay let's get back in Go ahead. Master bedrooms on the left. Wow. This Very is a, nice. That's because they got the curtains open. It just feels really nice and airy and bright. And this so, is your master's. So they get to put the little door covering the AC in it. Yeah. TV. Yeah, they're not completely finished yet, but. We Me wanted to get in quick. To be the first oh, this smart so. young fella here wanted to get in quick to help me also and help you guys get a first look. Might as well, you know. Coral Reef. It's got brand new. Mm. Have time. Me and Jason can film. Yep. Why not? Definitely. You could put a little makeup table here or a built in cabinet as well in this small corner. Put a mirror there, some table, keep the missus happy. <laughs> Jason, still in love with this thing. Oh, geez. <laughs> Good, decent sized bathroom. I think the bathroom size is also went yeah, up, right? Not think it right. We really have. Yeah. I think when the customers see this, who were interested in Copa 1, maybe decided to not buy mm -hmm. and see the Copa 2 showroom. I think they'll see that the developer is quite serious about it and the yeah. feedback of their clients as well. All right, guys, one last room left for the finale. No. <laughs> Look at this, guys. What's going on? There's people everywhere looking at places. Looks like they want to buy it, huh? But it's good. It got the people interested. You know, you can finally see the showrooms, how they really look like. Yeah. You can touch them. Right Obviously, the quality won't be the same. What do we got? My favorite. Always my favorite. And one bed. My favorite, too. Pool condo. Okay, 71.5. There is a bigger layout, guys. 77.6 square meters, one bedroom that's on the corner. Uh -huh. That would be this pool condo here. Mm -hmm. uh, the showroom they made for this one. This one you can also combine to make it a two bedroom pool condo. That's probably why they chose this one. Gotcha. So you got a pool deck, 9.1 square meters. And yeah. you also got a balcony. A 4.25. 4 
This, uh, this isn't included in that, is it? Or is it? This is included. So the pool of 17.6 square metres is included in that, yeah. as is that and that and all of that. So external Literally. space is okay. around 31 square metres. And then, yeah, here you see the internal, Sorry. so it's 40.5. Internal, 40.5. Okay. Yeah. So you have almost half of your room is basically... Outdoors. Outdoors, yes. Yeah. Some people really like it, some people don't. It's a hit or miss. Well, if you love the outdoors and you're living in Thailand, don't forget. So for me, the but more even outdoor the space size here is yeah. good, good enough already. And then also think about it. You, I think if you combine it, make it a two-bedroom pool condo, the one bedroom that you combine it with is on that side. Ooh. So you can actually walk That's in nice. here, and then the masters will be on that side. Kind of and cool. you, you would have the whole one bedroom basically as a master bedroom. That is cool. Yeah. L shaped okay. kitchen. Four stoves, Jason. Yeah. And here they haven't put in a double door fridge though. No. You've got a built in shoe yeah. cabinet. You could also put some shelving here too, it would be quite good. Yeah, they need some built in shelves. As Katya. Yeah. Katya. Bit of decorating or a Katya. mirror. Katya, I need something, please. Mm. Okay. Can we go to the highlight already, Jason? Since we're no, gonna... let's, yeah. show the... let's show the room first, let's right? Let's show the room. <laughs> Here's your living room. Kept okay. it small. I think in Copa One, actually, the living room is a bit bigger. That's all right. That's not that bad. I know. Yeah, when you know what's outside, obviously, it's not that bad, right? No. You want to see the balcony? No. No, not yet. <laughs> Bedroom, bathroom, then balcony. Okay, Jay I can't contain myself. Jason can. <laughs> Here's where you'd live in your bachelor's pad. And what a bachelor's pad this is. This is probably the ultimate bachelor's it pad, is. Right, isn't it? It is. Got a nice bedroom. Is this a queen or a king size bed? Queen. Queen, right? Yeah. And you could probably fit in a size bed. Yep. I think it would be very nice. You could. Oh, this reminds me of Audi. <laughs> Fantastic German brand. <laughs> Copa Cabana TV. Oh, I didn't show that. So they're quite funny here. <laughs> <laughs> Copa Cabana. So, obviously under there is probably Samsung. Samsung or I think it's Samsung. The, the washing machine also looks like it's a Samsung. I see a wardrobe, closet. Here's your bathroom. Nice and spacious again. This one you can access from the living room. But you can even put a shelf here, middle. Mm. I like it. The, the shower's a decent size in all of them, to be honest. Yeah. And I'm really, really digging the vanities. Yeah, you, you like that sink, don't you? Huh? I do. Well, where I am at Whale Marina, which is only for another few days, it's black and it's horrible. Ooh. Jason's moving soon, guys. And Whale Marina is coming up for it too, by the way. New experience. Now, new chapter, you're trying houses oh, from now on? I know, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, it should be good, it's quite a nice little villa for those that have seen the video. Location's nice actually, there's no traffic. Soy cow annoy, I call it. Yeah, I saw Sue correct you on that. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of a teaser. Yeah. But you can see it there already. Look at that. You can see it there already a little bit. Anyway. So Manu and I were talking about, look at the size of this outdoor balcony here. How good would it be, this is just my opinion, what do you think Manu, if you, when your room was getting built, if you were to buy one of these, have a door here. Like pool access units, right? Pool access. I think it's wicked. So you could jump in this side. Ah, we'll show you that. <laughs> we'll show you the other side. Well, you... I told Jason, technically, if you want to skip that, you can just put a ladder here and then just jump in. Jump in. Would I recommend it? No. No. Could you do it? Yes. And now to the highlight, right, Jason? 
This is mm -hmm. what we've been waiting on. The pool. And it's it's longer than the Copa One pool. And you could make some small laps here, right? Could. You could step down there. You could have the seat. It's got yeah, the jet nice. streams. It will also have lights in the pool, so when you turn it on during that the night. That looks almost strong enough to swim against. Well, you could do some laps. Look how long it is. Mm. I think it's eight meters long. And also the nice ceiling height again. Well, the other beauty is you're in the shade. Yes. Here, I'll probably just put one sun bed. Or an outdoor setting. Oh, you've got the other balcony. It's a pit forgetting. Actually, you know, you know it would be a good idea? I've seen it in my, uh, my client's room who has a pool pond in Copa One. He has a TV on the wall here, and then you can move it to the left or the right. Okay. So actually, you can put a TV here, and then a small sofa in the back. They can still keep smaller sun beds. Nice. How much is this? This was 10.6 million bucks, sorry. 10.6 million for a pool condo like this. Yeah. Most expensive pool condo we sold was at Copa One, 17.9 million baht. Quite on a high floor, to be honest, to be fair, but still, you see the value, right? Mm. Not bad. You can still get in here cheap prices, as we mentioned. Yeah. Because this will probably be one of the last steps before they increase the price. Well, the prices have already gone up from pre-sale, yeah. from pre-sale, which was back in December last year. Yeah. Okay, so is this the last room? This is the finale of our part two and of Copacabana Coral Reef. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys outside for the outro. Yeah, we might jump in the car and drive down to the beach just yeah. to show you. Okay. Cool, love it. We also wanted to show you guys, if you guys are not currently in Thailand, how does the showroom look like, right? The mm. building and everything. So you're actually right next to the real lamp plot where the main building's being built. And this is the showroom structure here. It's very nice. It is. This will be the main lobby area. Yeah. Here, this will be the main lobby area with the 3D model. Can you do me a favor? There's yes. a little speaker, cordless speaker in front of that girl. Can you just switch it off just for a second? Because it's playing copyright music. Where is it? In front on the desk. Uh, Thank you. So Jason's not getting copyright strike today. Yeah. And look at how beautiful the showroom is. Yeah. And the whole facility here, the whole building. Copa clients can also order fresh coconuts while they're selecting their favorite units. <laughs> We've actually tried them. Have you tried them yet? Mm -hmm. Nice, right? Very good. And then here's a 3D model, which we explained earlier. So we're just leaving Coral Reef. Yes. Turning on to third road. Second road. Second road. What am I talking about? <laughs> and just down the road there on the right is Rompo Markets, immigration, blah, blah, blah. It's quite a good location. It's not like you, you're you not beachfront anymore and then you're in the end, uh, somewhere nowhere, right? Yeah. Where you can't access anything. Riviera Ocean Drive and the original Copacabana. Yes, that's the and first one built. You can access the beach straight down. Yeah. Straight down. Yeah, yep. that's soy. Bit hard to see because the taxi just blocked it. But we'll probably go down there, right? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're actually driving there now. One U turn away, basically. And if you're walking, you can just cross the road mm. immediately. You don't have to take the little U turn here. Constructions here are not fully finished yet, so. The main U-turns are not open. Yep, it's a 7-Eleven there on the right. There's a closer one there. Oh, uh, we, there? Use it, we use it as a shortcut sometimes oh, when we right. go back to the true, office. That true. one, the big one. German bakery, it's called Back or Black Fabric, something like that. Back Fabric. Sleek. Sleek. Oh, okay. We've got the German here. Swiss. 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 Not same. 
Yeah, we, we had the, there's the football, the, the Euros is going on. Yeah, the football, football. soccer. No, football. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> and we just lost to England, Jason. No. Oh. Almost in the semi-finals. My British clients gave me a hard time about it, so. Have you been watching it? Yes. Actually, I've been watching. I haven't watched football in a while. Okay. Yeah, Sue's obsessed with it. Yeah. Watches it every night. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. Wait, you're watching it too then, right? Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite player as of now? Oh, don't ask me my favorite. <laughs> I think England's going to win it all though now. Really? I think so. Back. Fabric. Back fabric. That's me. That means baking factory. Baking factory. I think uh, translated should be. Yeah, look at that. Learn so much when you're with Manu. <laughs> he knows Thai. A lot of German. A lot of German. Here's Copacabana one. The previous project, the successful project. We could, yeah, it's quite successful. You call it ninety-five percent mm. sold out. Very high demand for rentals. Here's a shortcut if you're on a car. If you're on a bike, you can U-turn way sooner than us. Yeah. Here's Aqua. I think we haven't filmed anything there yet. No, we haven't. We do have a rental unit available here. Um, okay. It's not, not quite presentable yet. Okay. That's why we're holding off on it. But you can see the sea already. Mm. Here we've also filmed a video before, a rental unit, Panchale. Yeah, that was interesting, that place. But the storage room is right. in front, right? Yeah, it's an older it's style building, but it was yeah. a big room with a massive balcony. Absolutely huge balcony, huge balcony. Also, the room was quite big. A bit outdated, yeah, but I think if you do some... A little bit of reno work? Slide up, yeah, some slight renos, make it look like a really nice place. We're going to have a renovation coming soon in a gardenia unit. You guys can be a, stay tuned for that, because I'm the supervisor. So that's a brand new unit. Brand new unit, never lived in. Our client um, just came down from the US to fully move to Thailand. Um, Tim. Yes, Tim, shout out Tim. You know us, probably. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy, Tim. And here's the beach. On the right, you have a rum. Left, you have the Jump Tin Night Market. And a bit further to the left, you'll have Copacabana, Jump Tin Beach. Good Seems quiet though now, huh? Jumped in night market. No one here. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you heard anything about? Oh yeah, we can stop here somewhere. Um, if they're going to change Beach Road back to two way, on Jumped in Beach Road. Mm. Well, they're test. It's still in tests now, right? Oh, testing. They're, they're okay. testing it. It's going to work out. I think it's working good though with the. One way actually, mm. it's just like Padilla Beach Road basically now. So I'm okay with it actually. Yeah, I like More it. Or less, I yeah. like it too. Well, there's still some crazy guys that come from that side actually they sometimes. Do. On motorbikes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thanks, mate. So, um, Copacabana Coral Reef. Interesting. Copacabana Coral Reef. Nice yeah. project also to look into. Yeah. As we're standing. In front of the, their first project, Copacabana, Jump Team Beach. Yeah. So any more details you want on it, pricing, payment plans, taxes, transfer fees, additional costs, additional costs all that kind of stuff, floor plans, just shoot me an email, goodvibespatio at gmail.com. Yeah. And I'll put you in contact with Manu. Yeah. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, share, share. follow. And... I've got that moving the patio guide if you're interested as well. It's got everything in it. Right up. Thanks, mate. See you guys.